Hi, this is Kyla. And this is Emily. And, and this, this is, is our project on the nervous system. There are three main parts of the nervous system. The brain, the spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. Emily is now going to talk about the brain. The brain is split into seven sections, but I'm only going to be talking about the six. And Kyle is going to be talking about the seventh. The frontal system controls many complex functions. These functions include planning, control of impulses, attention and emotion. The back of the frontal lobe also controls movement of the opposite side of the body. Damage to the frontal system may cause change in behaviour, attention, emotion and also weaknesses to the opposite side of the body. The parietal lobes provide sensory information to the brain including touch, pain and temperature. Damage may cause the person to lose sensation down the opposite side of their body. This may result in the person being less aware of the parts of their body. The occipital lobes help us understand what we see. They decipher the colour, shape and distance of what we look at. Damage may result in a distortion of what is seen and difficulty recognising or interpreting familiar objects. The temporal lobes have many functions including hearing, memory and learning. Damage may cause problems with organising what to say and finding and using the correct words. It may also result in problems with short-term memory. The brainstem is situated deep at the base of the brain. The brainstem is responsible for breathing, heart rate, swallowing, sweating, blood pressure, digestion, body temperature, how alert you are, your ability to sleep, and your sense of balance. If you have a problem with your brain stem, you can have trouble breathing, talking, swallowing food and water, walking around, dizziness, and trouble sleeping. The cerebellum coordinates voluntary movement, balance, and where you are in space. Damage in the cerebellum can cause loss of ability to coordinate fine movement, the ability to walk and the ability to reach out and grab objects. Damage can also cause tremors, dizziness, slurred speech and the ability to move fast. Did you know the brain is 2% of your body weight but uses 20% of your energy? Wow. wow! Did you know there are about a hundred billion neurons in the human brain? The same number of stars in our galaxy. That's, That's amazing. amazing! Did you know the left hemisphere of the brain has 186 million more neurons than the right hemisphere? Really? Did you know there is about 750 to 1,000 milliliters of blood flow through the brain every minute? Ooh. Did you know the total of the cerebral cortex consists of the brain, frontal lobe 41%, temporal lobe 22%, frontal lobe 19%, occipital lobe 18%. No, we didn't. Kyla is now going to talk about the spinal cord. The spinal cord is one of the main nerves in the body. This is a picture of the spinal cord. The spinal cord is part of the nervous system and is between 43 and 45 centimeters long. The length of the spinal cord is much shorter than the length of the bony spinal column. It runs the length of the back extending from the base of the brain to about the waist. The area within the vertebral column beyond the end of the spinal cord is called the cordia equina. 
The nerves that branch out from the spinal cord to the other parts of the body are called lower motor neurons and dorsal root sensory neurons. These spinal nerves exit and enter at each vertebral level and communicate with specific areas of the body. In an incomplete injury, some residual motor and sensory function remains below the level of injury. The automatic nervous system controls the visceral function. Its actions are mostly involuntary. The automatic nervous system affects the heart rate, respiratory rate, digestion, salvation, and perspiration. Spinal cord injury is damage to the nerves within the spinal canal, thereby affecting the spinal cord's ability to send and receive messages from the brain to the body systems that control sensory, motor, and automatic function below the level of injury. A spinal cord injury can be complete or incomplete. In a complete injury, a nerve damage obstructs every signal coming from the brain to the body's parts below the injury. Did you know your spinal cord travels through vertebrae that can resist crushing better than concrete? No, we didn't. Did you know it is possible to walk if you break your back as long as the spinal cord is intact? Really? Did you know if you step on a pin, a reflex action is triggered by nerves in your spinal cord? That's amazing. Did you know chemicals called neurotransmitters carry impulses from neuron to neuron. Wow! Kyla and I are both going to talk about the peripheral nerves. The peripheral nerves are spread all around your body. The peripheral nervous system consists of the nerves and ganglia outside of the brain and the spinal cord. The main functions of the peripheral nervous system is to connect to the central nervous system, to the limbs and organs. Unlike the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system is not protected by the bone of the spine and skull or by the blood-brain barriers, leaving it exposed to toxins and mechanical injuries. The nervous system contains the brain, spinal cord and complicated networks of neurons. This system is responsible for sending, receiving and taking in information from all the body parts. The nervous system monitors and coordinates internal organ function and responds to change in the external environment. This system can be divided into two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. During this project, we learned about the three components of the nervous system. The brain, the spinal cord, and, and the, the peripheral, peripheral nerves. nerves. The functions of the nervous system is to control the movement, sensations, and emotions of the body. Damage to the nervous system causes problems. These can be small, like a numb patch on the skin, or huge like not being able to walk or talk. And, and that's, that's the end of our health project. Hope, Hope you, you liked, liked it. it.